Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has officially revealed the brand new official trailer. And you know when they say that trailers go hard? This might honestly be as hard as a Spider-Man trailer can possibly go because good god is every hair on my body literally standing up right now. Okay, so let's get into this. So obviously it's picking up years after the first film. There's a small little recap, just a quick little flashbacks and everything, and then we get into the story here. The story here is what you expect with a title called, well, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And believe me when I tell you, and you've seen the trailer, they are going far and wide across the Spider-Verse because we see a lot of Spider-Man in this, and that is not an exaggeration. I am talking, like, when they said we're going to see 200-plus Spider-Man, that is a confirmation in this. And we are not just going to be seeing the familiar Spider-Man you expect. We are seeing so much in this that it's honestly, I think, going to be something we're going to be digging through for, like, a year after this film comes out. You know, sort of like Ready Player One. People are still discovering Easter eggs and small little things in that film. And the film is now like, what, four years old or something? I have a feeling this is going to be that. And what I really like about this is, outside just the spectacle, you can tell that this thing is going to be an emotional ride. And we are joining Miles on this ride. And we're going to see a lot of different Peters, a lot of different spider people in general, and how their lives are going to impact his his future, and what exactly his destiny is as a new Spider-Man whose journey we are following, who's uncertain, who looks like he's a little worried, who looks like he's a little apprehensive, who looks like he's not fully yet understanding the whole with great power comes great responsibility bit. And it looks like this film is going to further amplify all of that. Honestly, man, this trailer, um, it's... <laughs> It's hard to put into words just every thought I have on this film and my excitement for it. But make no mistake, this is up there in my top three most anticipated of next year, along with Transformers Rise of the Beasts, this and, you know, the Turtles film. I mean, these three just look like they're taking me back to a completely different, you know, day and age of when I was smaller and looking up at these heroes and these concepts and everything. And this, the idea of the multiverse being so vast and exploring it and the unique visual styles and seeing them talk about how we're supposed to be the heroes. But what exactly does that mean? And what's the, uh, you know, what angle does a hero take? Because in your own head, you're a hero, even if you're a villain. I really like that they're hinting towards that. And it looks like we could see Miguel O'Hara really uh, take up this mentor mantle almost for Miles. And it's still interesting that we don't really get a lot of the villain of the piece, which we know who is the spot. But again, I think they're saving that for closer to the film to really blow that out. And I'm assuming they don't want to spoil anything in terms of the dimensional hopping and his powers and all that. But this, no pun intended, it looks like it's going to be spectacular, honestly. Um, blown away. Absolutely cannot wait. This thing, this thing is some next level spider-man like fan delivery this is what you've been asking for this is what you're gonna get i don't know if they're gonna be able to top that first film but if this trailer is an indicator they're gonna try hard 